On this installment of Cooking with Aaron, we're going to make our own completely natural chocolate syrup without any extra ingredients. If you look, it says cocoa powder, and that's all. We have generic baking cocoa. What we're going to do is we're going to open it like so. And we're supposed to use a measuring cup, so we're going to do it kind of like this. Yeah. Cocoa's a bit stuck. That's about one cup. That's about like one and three quarters cups of uh, cocoa. Put an extra scoop to make that about two cups of cocoa. Two and a half or whatever. Stir it a little bit, add a little water, mm -hmm. stay. Now we add some sugar. Sugar. Um, that's one cup. About two cups, and about two and a half will be good. We don't want it too sweet. We want to be able to taste the chocolate. And you stir that up in there. Now the stuff expands by volume when you want boiling it. Remember that. Once it starts to boil, it will really expand by volume. It would be nice if I had a cap full of vanilla to add to it, but I have no vanilla. And you want to stir it till it looks smooth and then thicken it up. And that's the goal. I think I'll put in a little bit more cocoa. If I had a whisk, it would be nice and smooth. Without a whisk, you're going to have to improvise. And we have what's beginning to look kind of like chocolate syrup. It needs to thicken up and boil and get the lumps out. It's going to take some heat to get it going. Once you got it going, you can turn it down some. Turn on some heat. It's already hot, let's crank it up some. You want to see it bubble and expand, so then you'll know that you're actually making syrup and you don't just have powder dissolved in water. It's important not to burn the sugar, but to melt it and to liquefy it. Uh, it's starting to make a nice, rich, rich, dark, chocolatey appearance. Now, compared to regular chocolate syrup, there's just no comparison. You control the sweetness. No high fructose corn syrup, no mono and diglycerides, no set disodium ETA, whatever the fuck that is. It's not in here. Water, cocoa powder, and sugar. That's it. That's really all you need. I depend on this deck to be able to sleep at night. It's either chocolate milk or beer. And chocolate milk is healthy. And tasty. Stir, stir, stir. Looks smooth. 
I'm just waiting for the heat to come on and bring it to bubble. Here we go. Come on in, baby. It's starting to do that thing. We gotta get the reaction down like you're making candy. And candy is like, um, it's tricky. It'll cook thick enough once it cools off as well. Oh yeah. Come here, darling. My lovely camera person. Close up of that, please. This is what I'm talking about with the expansion. You should see expand like that. And that's when you'll know that it's made right. When it's expanded to twice its original volume while it's hot and bubbling, I know it probably finished. I'm just going to let it thicken up a little bit more. Stirring the whole time so the bottom does not scorch. Hi, Mom. is looking good. As you can see it's starting to run like chocolate syrup that you get at the store and so we know we can turn the heat off now. It even smells like chocolate syrup you would get at the store just better. Richard. Let that cool off a bit. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Chocolate syrup, people. Homemade. It really doesn't get much better than that. Transfer into a waiting container. Remember, it's very hot and you'll be set. The stuff will last me for about a week. I drink a lot of chocolate milk. Removed from heat. And happy holidays! Cut!